Hi, my name is Kevin Dunn. I'm the Elliott Professor of Chemistry at Hampton Sydney College, and I'm going to explain to you today how to measure the moisture content in soap. Soap is sold by weight, not by volume. So it's important to know when you're ready to sell your soap that your soap has reached a constant weight. To do this experiment, you need the most important thing you need is a scale. You need a scale that can measure to a hundredth of a gram. A scale like this, the iBalance 201, sells for about $100. It's an excellent investment, but you can get by with a little pocket scale like this one, and this sells for less than $50. The um, main difference is this one runs on batteries, and it has an auto, auto off feature, so it'll turn itself off from time to time. The one that plugs into the wall will remain on all the time. We also need a beaker, uh, a Pyrex measuring cup will do, but beakers are pretty cheap and very convenient. We also need a piece of soap to test, something that we can shave soap with, and something to put the shaved soap into. Okay, so what we're, what we're gonna do first is turn on the scale. It goes through its little startup procedure. And what we want to do for this test is have some shaved soap. This is some soap that was made yesterday, so it's still got lots of moisture in it. We're gonna put a cup on the balance, press the zero button, and it's as easy as just shaving some soap into a cup. So the first weight that we need is the empty weight of the beaker. I've zeroed the balance, I press the beaker on the balance and I'm going to record 72.45 grams. Empty weight. I'm now going to zero the balance again and I'm just going to weigh some soap into it. There's 2.56. I'd like to have something close to 5 grams. I don't have to hit the target exactly, but five grams is a pretty convenient amount. I've now got 5.22 grams. What I want is the weight of the beaker with the soap. So I'm going to zero it again. And this is now 77.67 grams. Cool. The next thing we're gonna do is to pop this in the microwave. We don't wanna set the time too high. We're gonna pop it in the microwave for maybe 10 seconds at a time, let it cool in between, and um, once it stops bubbling, it will be dry enough to weigh again. Seventy six point nine one. Seventy six point seven zero. Seventy six point six zero, seventy six point five four, seventy six point five four. I've got the same weight twice, which means I've driven all of the moisture out of the soap. So my final weight. 76.54 grams. To make the calculation, I'm going to take 76.54 minus the original weight of the uh, empty 
beaker, which was 72.45. I'm gonna divide it by the full weight, which was 77.67, minus the empty weight, 72.45. That's 76.54 grams, the final weight of my beaker, minus 72.45, that's the initial weight. That's 4.09 grams. And I'm gonna divide that by 77.67, the full weight, minus 72.45. Four, five. That was the empty weight, divided by 5.22 grams. 4.09 grams divided by 5.22 grams. That means this is now 78% of its original weight. And if I subtract that from one, that means this soap was 21.6% moisture. If you don't want to go to all this trouble to get the, a number for the percentage moisture in your soap, you can simply take a test bar and weigh it. Record the weight from one week to, week to the next. The weight is going to drop until it reaches a constant weight. And then when, the, when you have two weeks in a row with the same weight, you know that your soap is finished curing. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more about this procedure, you can find it in chapter 14 of my book, Scientific Soap Making. I've had a great time making this video and I hope it does something good for you.